hi and welcome to the G Parted Live CD. Any projects I've used it before or oh no that actually uh, partitions your disc for you. So we're gonna have a little play with it for you tonight. There you can see I've got a, a three gig little hard drive, nothing on it. I'm gonna right click there and it just wants to erase all data. Now normally it will recreate a MS DOS partition, but you can do a different partition section on it if you want to. As you can see, there are other ones apart from MS-DOS, but we're going to use that for now anyway. And click Create, and it's done. So we'll have a little play tonight, and just to see the sort of things you can do. So we're going to click on New, and we're going to create a little 1 gig primary partition. Once my typing gets fast enough, that is. I'm going to do it on the XT3, I think. And we're going to click Add. We click Add there. And that's in the to-do list. So next we go up to the unallocated stuff again. We click on New. And this time I'm going to create a swap file for Linux. Or Linux, however you want to say it. And we're going to create about half a gig. So you type in the amount you want there and click on add again. And there you go. That's in the to-do list as well. Now we've got some more alloc allocated there. So we're going to go to new again. Yeah, give it a click. We're going to format it into FAT32, which is a Windows format, as we all know. And we're going to get that a bit of space for as well. And click add again. We've still got some free space. So we're going to do another new one. And we're going to do a different extension this time. We're going to be funny and do NTFS. No, we won't. Do X2. That was a joke. Right, and there's our four partitions ready to be done. We click apply, and it just tells you it's going to actually wipe everything, so you should know that if it's a clean disk. Now you would have thought this took ages, but it takes like seconds, so it's not a problem. There you go, three or four, we're almost there. We're all done. Click on close, and there's all new partitions we've created. So you can do lots of stuff with this program. We're going to still have a bit more play, so we're going to I think we're going to resize that one. So we're going to bring that down here, about half the size, say, which is good for me. There you go. Click on resize, move. That goes in the pending block. Now here we go. If you click on new. You can't actually make more than four primary partitions. Which is okay because we can make an extended partition for that. Okay, but we'll come back to that in a sec. So we're going to delete that partition that we just made, make another new one, and make it as an extended partition. So you can have a few more primary partitions in the extended. So I'm going to add that. Here's our free space again. We're going to do new. And this time I'm not making a joke, we're going to make it NTFS. Ha ha ha, not, not sure what I'd use that for on Linux anyway. But hey, we can do it. We've clicked apply. That's going to create all the new ones for us. It doesn't take long. It scans for errors, but normally they're all hunky dory, so no worries. Almost done. There we go. Click on close. And have a quick scan again, and there's all our new stuff we've made that, on that one little freaky hard drive. But I've not actually finished yet. So I'm going to click on resize, move, like we did earlier. I'm going to halve that basically. Just about there'll be fine. It's only for showing you how to do it, really. 
and the other half that's new, which we made that into, I think we made that into a fat 16. That's it, that one there. And click add. We apply them actions again. The machine goes through it. This is from a live CD, by the way. So you haven't got to install anything, just from a CD. And there you go. We've got AX3, we've got a swap, we've got a FAT32. We've got an NTFS and a FAT16. Obviously you could make an AX2 or whatever sort of one you want, really. It would depend on the sort of job you want it to do. But they're all there. Far too small for NTFS, though. Are you going to fit Vista on that? I don't think so. And there you go. Easy peasy. A great CD. G-Parted is your friend. Thanks for watching. <laughs>